Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's clean and simple card making video. I say clean and simple but I'm not entirely sure where I'm going with today's card. I just felt like sitting down with a piece of paper and some inks and access to all my crafty supplies and getting some craft therapy. Just playing with colour and pattern and shape and shimmer and shine and seeing where it takes me. This is an A4 sticker, it's A4 sticker paper. I've got Tumble Glass, Kitsch Flamingo, Milled Lavender Distress Oxides. I know they're going to work well together because it's blues and pinks and the lavender. I've got my blending brushes and I'm just going to do some blending and see where it takes me. And we'll just start with the Tumbled Glass. I'm going to load up my brush and just add some colour here and there. I know I'm going to cut this sheet of sticker paper down into smaller, probably fairly small pieces. So I'm not worried about getting a lovely even blend. In fact, probably the more variegated, the better for interest, etc. So that looks a bit skyish there. And now for some Kitsch Flamingo, which is, I think, quite a cool pink. So the blue and the pink should overlap nicely, give a bit of a blend there. The tumble glass cools the pink down even more, I think. I'll just brush that kitsch flamingo off and then we'll go in with the milled lavender. I want to do a bit of stenciling, so I've grabbed this rather large Piggledy Piggledy number stencil. I'll add the same inks through, I think. Just clean that off. So, are you a planner? when it comes to card making or do you like to sit down and just see what appears or do you do a mixture of both sometimes planning exactly what you're going to do and sometimes crafting by the seat of your pants i think my milled lavender has gone a bit kitsch flamingo but that's okay so i'm feeling the urge to sputter and i'm going to use this lovely pale gold. It's just such a delicate gold colour. And I'm going to dry this with my hair dryer. This might soften the adhesive on the back of the sticker a bit, but it should be fine. So when I'm feeling the need for a bit of crafting therapy, I like to go to my go-to favourite shapes as well as my favourite colours and favourite spatters. And circles are hands down my favourite shape. So I'm going to use this stitched circle nesting set of dies to cut lots of circles from this. I've got lots of circles now and some partial circles and this is a stitched rectangle panel of smooth white card so I'm going to use that as my card panel, the front bit. And I've got here a strip of gold foiled washi that I'm going to pop down well it will be the left hand side of the card when it's turned around so that should be fairly straight i'll just select a few circles i want to get the numbers the right way up so they make some kind of sense i think what i'll do is make this card and then off camera make a bunch of other cards like I often do and then come back and show you all the cards I've made with my circles. I just feel like keeping it really clean and simple today. So 
I've got my circles lined up there. I'm going to take the release paper from this big circle and place it back over the overhang so that I can keep that and use it. Put some tape runner on the back of my card panel and I shall stick that on my card blank. And then trim my card blank down. So I'm thinking a branchy leafy thing on here, another one of my go-to elements. So I've cut it out of white, I think I'll also cut it out of vellum. So do you have any go-to elements, go-to designs that you go to when you're feeling in the need of a bit of craft therapy or you just want to get your mojo flowing again, right? I like the look of the vellum and the white on there. For my sentiment, I'm thinking of this here for you. I'll cut it from white card and then decide what I want to put behind it. So I could use a bit of this leftover paper here. That might look quite good. Or I could put some gold washi or a bit of cardstock and put that behind it. I might do that. So I've just put a bit of glue on my craft mat, my glass mat, and I'm gonna dip that in there like that. Get some glue on the back, put that on there, and then I can cut round it. I'll angle my scissors underneath the top slightly so that there's no gold peeking around the outside. We'll add a tiny little drop of glue behind each vellum, leaf or berry. And then the same with the white one. bit of glue on the back of the sentiment I think I will have here crossing over the branch and I think these berries or round leaves are just begging for some gloss and dimension so I've got morning dew nouveau drops here and I'll add those on the ends I put a blob in the middle and then use the nozzle to coax the Nouveau drops to the edge of the circle. That way I won't flood Nouveau drops everywhere. And if you don't put enough down initially, you can always squirt a little bit more on, get it to move where you want it to. These are a bit cloudy when they first come out the bottle, but they will dry completely clear and look like glass really. So I think that is that card done. I'm happy with the way that turned out. I really enjoyed the colours, the patterns, the spatters. What I'm going to do now is go and make some more cards with my leftover circles and then I'll come back to you and share them. Right, see you in a tick. Right, I'm back and I've got a bunch of cards for you. This is the first card and it's really the only one in this style. I simply took one of the larger blue circles, stuck it on the card panel so that it came off the top, snipped off the top, added another little bit there to create the knot on a balloon, drew on a string and then added a happy birthday. For all of these extra cards I cut my sentiments from black cardstock that I'd covered with clear packing tape to make it glossy. I also cut the shadow for each word out of white card so it's black glossy sentiment on top of a white shadow i think what i might do with this one and i'll give it a go and post a pic is die cut a skinny bow out of black card and pop it there to see if it uh, looks good or not because i think i need something there And here's card number two. I arranged some partial circles along the top 
put a bit more down the bottom so the weight is down the bottom. Added some white flowers that I die cut from white card using this multi-size flower die. And I doubled up each flower by putting a smaller flower on top of a larger flower. Arranged those around my circles. And then for the flower centres, I added some Gold Nouveau drops. I wanted my sentiment to have something to sit on. So I put some of the gold foiled washi tape behind it, the same one that I used in the original card. So here I put a strip behind my circles, here I put a strip behind my sentiment. So card number three, I arranged my circles in the top right hand corner. This was because I had quite a lot of partial circles from making this one, so I thought if I just bundle them together up here they'll look about right. Again I added a strip of gold washi tape, a hello sentiment and some flowers with gold centres. The next card is a thanks card and I used partial circles again. I put some larger ones over here and some smaller ones down here so this is the main area. I added the gold foiled washi a long bit up here and a short bit down here. This is where I put my sentiment so that it adds to this heavier focal point. And again, I added some flowers. For this one, I used the celebrate sentiment, put a strip all the way across the panel and then centered one of the circles over it and added three flowers. I think I've slightly squashed the gold there but I'll uh, pick that off later and <laughs> redo that Nouveau drop. For this one I went landscape and that allowed me to use this long congratulations which I put on top of a circle on top of a strip of gold washi and added some more flowers around the circle. And my final card is a lovely big happy birthday. So again I took a large circle Put it off to the side slightly so I could snip it off there. Added the washi, added my sentiment, added my flowers and that was it. So there we go, eight cards made using that piece of mixed media that I did when I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do today. But I'm really pleased with the way they turned out. I love the colours, the patterns, everything about them really. Right, I hope you've enjoyed today's video and it's given you some ideas of something you can do when you're just feeling like you want to play but you're not sure what you want to make. If it has, please do leave a thumbs up, let me know in the comments subscribe, ring that notification bell and I'll see you back here tomorrow for another video. Thanks for watching, bye for now.